In this screencast video lecture, we are going to see the points related to endomycorrhiza, one of the important mycorrhizal group that have been associated there with the wide variety of plant systems. It is shortly referred as a arbuscular mycorrhiza, that is AM fungi. It comes under a separate phylum that was recently named as glomeromycota. Six genera of glomalian fungi have been recognized and they belonging to three families. These three families are coming under the phylum glomeromycota. It includes glomacy, acalosporacy and gigasporacy. The genus belonging to this family have been commonly recognized as arbuscular mycorrhiza. It includes glomus, acalospora, gigospora as well as cutellospora. Next one is this endomycorrhiza are nutritionally obligate in nature. It requires essentially the presence of plants for their survival. That is the plant is the Tania endomycorrhiza va petri plate la There is an exception for this, that is Pyriformospora indica. This is an endomycorrhiza that have been associated there with some plants there in the Indian region. Either first to first, they have isolated from Prosophis juliflora as well as Xiphus species. This Prosophis juliflora is the common plant which can be come across in the Indian region. That is the Velikathan, that is the And the plant landada, it has been isolated there in the sandy desert soils of Rajasthan by an Indian author named Ajit Verma as well as Savita Verma. So, they are the persons who have first isolated this particular organism and named it as Pyriformospora indica. Up in the endomycorrhizal, Pyriformospora indica, you can able to culture there in the petri plate. All other endomycorrhiza will be growing in a tight association there with the plant system only. Next point, some endomycorrhiza have been found associated specifically with certain cyanobacteria. They are technically referred as a endocytobiotic fungi. A classical example is occurrence of geosiphon pyriformis that is an endomycorrhiza with cyanobacteria namely nostac. They appear on the soil surface as a small bladder like formation of the cytobiotic fungi there in the soil surface. So, when it is visualized using some other kind of a microscopic technique, you can able to find both the partners that have been present. The red color things denotes the cyanobacterial association and the green color denotes the endomycorrhizal fungi that forms into a tight endocytobiotic fungal relationship. And they are present as a small bladders there in the soil surface. Next point, this endomycorrhiza are phylogenetically older form. That is, they have evolved very long period before. That is, some 460 million years ago itself, they have evolved. And the next one is, compared to that of the ectomycorrhiza, the genetic diversity of endomycorrhiza is very less. Its meaning, very low numbers of genus or species could be come across there in endomycorrhiza compared to that of the ectomycorrhiza. However, with this small genetic diversity, it can be able to infect wide variety of plants that includes plants belonging to pteridophyta and gymnosperms and certain plants of angiosperms. They are commonly found in associated there with the herbaceous plants and only with a few woody plants. In the reason Patina, Woody plants are dominated there with ectomycorrhiza, whereas most of the herbaceous plants are come across there with the association of a endomycorrhiza. In total, you can able to see some 2 lakh and 50,000 plant species have been infected by arbuscular mycorrhiza. In spite of that, plants belonging to certain family does not have a arbuscular mycorrhizal association. That is, this association is completely absent in Plants belonging to Caryophyllaceae, Cruciferae, Cypraceae, Junacaceae, Polygonaceae. In the particular family, it will have some plants. That plants are exudating certain chemicals there in the root surface. That is, these root exudating chemicals will have a toxic effect there on the mycorrhiza. Or it can able to ripple the mycorrhizal association there in their roots. That is the reason why the 
fungal association is completely absent on the plants belonging to the following families. And the next point, you may already have a fungi will be having a asexual as well as sexual life cycles in common. Whereas, this fungi commonly reproduced only through asexual reproduction mechanism. You cannot be able to find any sexual stage in a arbuscular mycorrhizal fungi association. The type of hyphae produced by this fungus includes thick runner or distributive hyphae as well as thin absorptive hyphae. They play an important role there in the survival of this fungus in the plant system. One or more hyphae produce swellings. This kind of fungal swellings are referred as a aprosoria that could be seen there in the epidermal cell. So, in this diagram, you can able to see the thickened mycelial structures that have been present there in the surface of the cell. These are the entry points through which they will be moving inside the plant system that is in the epidermal as well as the hypodermal regions and they can able to form some special structures there. Thus, the aprosoria are thickened hyphal swellings that could be seen there in the mycorrhiza. Thus, the intracellular hyphal entry may lead to formation of other structures such as arbuscules as well as vesicles. First, we try to find out what is the meaning for arbuscules. They are intricately branched intracellular hosteria formed within a root cortex cell that are thought to be the sites in which the nutrient transfer or exchanges will be taking place between the fungus as well as the plant system. So, here you can able to see the arbuscules in this diagram. So, the arbuscules are formed by reduction in the hyphal width starting from an initial trunk hyphae that is the first the hyphae moving inside will be so thicker that is of a 5 to 10 micrometer in diameter. Whereas, when they entered inside the cell, they will start proliferating as a fine hyphal branches that will be only of a less than 1 micrometer diameter. Arbuscules formation will be starting approximately 2 days after the root penetration that could be accompanied there by the aprosorium. So, this aprosorium will be moving inside that is in the intercellular spaces there that is between the cells and they form into fine structures that are referred as a arbuscules. So, you can able to see the thickness of the hyphae there in the intercellular region whereas the thickness of hyphae there inside the cell when it is forming into special structure called arbuscules. Thus, the arbuscules are growing inside the individual cells of the root cortex but they remain outside their cytoplasm and these arbuscules are considered as a major site of nutrient exchange that could be taking place between the plant system that is the host as well as the fungi that is the mycorrhiza. Next, we are going to look at the points related to vesicles. Here, this is a structure which cannot be commonly seen there in the mycorrhiza. That is the reason why the old name of vesicular arbuscular mycorrhiza, shortly called as a VAM, is now changed into arbuscular mycorrhiza that is AM. Here, this vesicle structures can be rarely seen there through microscope. You can able to see the vesicle here in the image which was taken by one of the previous batch of students when they are taking up the same agricultural microbiology course there. So, these vesicles are structures that have been developed to accumulate the storage products mainly in the endomycorrhizal associations. So, they are initiated soon after the arbuscule formation there in the cells. But they continue to develop even after the senescence that is after the death of the arbuscules inside the cells. The vesicles are actually hyphal swellings that occurs in the root cortex that contain lipids as well as cytoplasm. They may be located intercellularly or intracellular that is inter means it is present between the cells, intra means it has been present inside another cell that is the plant cell. So, these vesicles can develop into thick walled cells in the older roots and they can be able to function as a propagules that is structures that could aid in the reproduction of this arbuscular fungi. However, using microscopy, it is very hard to discriminate some vesicle structure there in the samples. Because of this reason, the vesicular arbuscular mycorrhiza has been renamed as arbuscular mycorrhiza.